What up, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Jess. Welcome back to another Madden 16 production. Today, we have our debut of quite a few new players, including Donovan McNabb, also uh, Greg Lloyd, and do we have anybody else? Uh, Chris Harris as well. And I think that's about it. And unfortunately, we're in like pro second string or whatever, so we can go on ahead and hopefully be able to get these badge packs a little easier. Anybody wondering why we went from Madden first string all the way down, check out my previous video entitled, I uh, never thought I'd do this. And there's a whole bunch of explanation right there and then. So uh, here we go, our very first game. And our first opponent probably just looks at the lineup and wants absolutely nothing to do with the squadron of lizard tree. I believe he uh, just ends up quitting and we end up getting the victory. I think this would have been my first time going up against flashback Carlos Rogers too. I had him and did not like him. Uh, I personally think the best cornerback in the game uh, by far is um, 94 Rondé Barber. Just because he plays the run so damn good. Like there's not another cornerback that comes close to playing the run like he does. And that's such a huge factor. Like you have no idea how many times they run to his side. And he'll just get a block shed and just make a tackle. You know, letting a run instead of go for, you know, 45 yards, possibly only goes for six because he just makes a huge block shot in the play. But uh, Carlos Rogers didn't do too much for me. I, I'm not one of the big fan of his. But uh, our next matchup, we get matched up against a uh, uh, Rashad Jones, a Cameron Wake, and an Alshon Jeffrey. So uh, hopefully we can go on ahead and be successful now. I know our team is severely better. I know this, but you got to remember who's controlling the team. So, because I'm controlling the team, uh, the possibility of losing is still there. So, here we go. We uh, start off running the ball right here. And, oh, no, I'm sorry. We're on defense. What, what am I talking about? Uh, he starts off running the ball right there. And uh, running attack is usually usually does good against me. I usually don't do a good job of defending the run. I'll, I'll be honest. Fourth and one, he goes for a toss play. I try to cut it off around the outside. Didn't do too well. Uh, you notice he has chew clock on immediately, like right away, like Right off the jump, he just comes out and chew clock. And I'm like, okay, that's that's uh, that doesn't happen too often. Where somebody comes out of chew clock very first drive and just starts chew clocking. Um, but right there, don't test the user. He is so disrespectful, though. As Ray Ray comes up with the interception right here, just a little quick. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, man, uh, them sugar hips, baby. I said them sugar hips, baby. As we go right back to Walter Payton. Sweetness is such a beat. Look, look, look at Sweetness. He's so strong, though. We take it down to the second quarter. Why booty butthole naked is Lee Smith, who's just there for blocking purposes. Uh, I'll try to go up top to OBJ. I'll be honest. But uh, he was there, and he happened to be open. So what do you want me to do? I threw it to him. Sterling Sharp is really, really, really good. I definitely was a little um, unimpressed with his attributes at first, looking at 90 speed. And right there, was just we got lucky right there. I can't say anything about that. Uh, C route was open, but I threw that just a skosh too early. And uh, like the C route, the timing has to be on points for you to go on ahead and uh, successfully, you know, uh, throw that for a completion. If not, it could end very, very badly. But um, all right, here he goes up top, and that's just what Ronder Barber does. He was on a deep blue. I think I was in a cover three out of four six. I don't remember to be honest, but he comes out of nowhere. From the uh, right side of the field and completely jumps around over the middle. He has no business being over there. No business being over there. And he just makes a play. Like a hell of a play at that. Like uh, right there possibly would have been a touchdown if I didn't click on. I clicked on and messed up the, the routes. Right here is one of the few times you see me run a screen. I don't really have success on screens too often. Eh. Right here we go to the C route right there. We throw a dot. Donovan McNabb throws dots. Let me tell you. Donovan McNabb throws dots is he worth the amount of coins he's extremely cheap right now due to the fact of the topper being a uh a guaranteed um legend collectible from McNabb. if it wasn't for that you know his card will be extremely expensive you know um his card is you know 400k right now which is a steal right there i don't i don't know what the hell happened that was some voodoo right there but a uh, good play by him ends up breaking a tackle ends up scoring as he high steps on into the end zone, getting his first score of the game. 
14-7. Not much time left remaining, so we would need like a you know pretty much a, a lucky streak to go ahead and score with this time remaining. And uh, you know why not? Yolo, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna toss it up. We're gonna try it. And he's just uh, oh never mind. He's not overthrown. Never mind. Mulligan. Uh, cause McNabb does overthrow streaks quite a bit. Um, just like every other quarterback, every quarterback that I've used overthrow streaks from Elway to Breeze to McNabb to Cole Pepper, all of them will overthrow a streak and it's, it's frustrating. But, uh, I actually thought, I'm not gonna lie. I thought he was going to overthrow that. My bad. Mulligan. We actually come away with not overthrowing it for a touchdown. And, uh, that's just an experience of, uh, somebody in this level. And, you know, maybe playing somebody like me may actually, you know, help him step his game up a little bit. He should know from now on, like, you got to get in three man deep, seven seconds remaining. It's not worth sending a blitz or sitting in a two man under, like you have to go on ahead and three man deep. So you do not get beat over the top. And, you know, maybe, uh, you know, from now on, you know, that won't happen to him again. You know, like they say, man, fool you once, shame on, uh, shame on you. No. Yeah, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So, uh, once you get caught with something and you realize, you know, uh, oh, right here, we're rerouting, we're rerouting, we're rerouting. That's the second time I got bailed out with him dropping interception. You know, I'll be honest, I'm not going to sit here and act like I had a perfect game. I, I made mistakes. I did. I got lucky. <laughs> we uh, we got bailed out with two dropped interceptions in this game. Um, but we drop a lot of interceptions too, so it's kind of like it's it's even. Uh, right there, I don't know how the hell his feet didn't get caught down. Uh, third and four, what do we do? We run the ball. That's just what I do. I like running. We actually put Amon Green in because I haven't given the ball to him in a while. You know, let me let me see what Stanko Amon Collar Green got. You know, let me see what he got. Um, right here, we end up just QB. He just fell forward. I don't know what the hell. He just fell down. Like I don't know what happened. But uh, we end up scoring, going up twenty-eight to seven. So, uh, that right there, and actually, that's not the first time uh, where you'll see, I'm, I'm going to have a game a little later on where I think a guy true clocked me and uh, from the first snap. And I, right there, I don't know, just a bad overthrow that we happen to be in position, and we'll take that. I mean, hey, that's what happens when you hold the Y button, right? You get that ball hawk. Right here, he's just run committing, and he's sacking the hell out of me. Uh, right here, we try to run the ball. Just trying to waste as much time as possible. The game's pretty much over. Uh, right here, standing in the pocket, go to the C route. Tippy tap and uh, again we don't get our feet in most. I don't know how. I don't know how that's happening. I don't get it. I don't. But look at this punt though. You don't see me do good punts like that. On a one yard line though, and then he does a good play coming out with the toss right here, and he gets a, a a pretty good game. But that's the end of the video, fellas. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. So far, no freezes this season. No freezes. Look at Lloyd coming away with the sack though. And um, that if you want to rewind that, notice how he avoided the running back picking him up for the block. He just ran around him with that. That is, you know, just awareness and play wreck. See your boy GS. We're going to, and pursuit, I should say. We're going to go ahead and sign out. Peace!